Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Selenio. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at, yes, another kick shot system. This system was developed by me. Obviously, this system is not yet on the market. There are variations to the system that uses numbers, that uses parallel shifting. But for this particular system here, I believe it's a secret that the pros use when you're kicking at object balls, two rails, and it's in some complicated area. At the end of the video, I'm gonna try my very best to show you a scenario in which you could be really hooked on a ball and you may have to utilize this system here to get yourself a little bit of fortune, maybe pocketing the ball or just maybe just getting out of, out of the safe and re-safing your opponent. Now in this system here, there's lots of good things that can happen here. When you make this two rail kick here, you can either pocket the ball in the side or you can re-safe your opponent by kicking at the short rail, the long rail here and bringing the cue ball down to the short rail here. Of course, there are different situations that can come out. Of course, you can get a little bit unfortunate by kicking at the ball, making contact, and of course, just leaving the table open for your opponent to run the table. But at least you're giving yourself a chance to get out of a complicated snooker. All right, now, this system here has a couple of steps. Let me, uh, it's gonna be about five steps. Sounds a bit complicated at first, but trust me when I tell you, if it is that you put some time on the table, get used to how it is that you have to calculate real fast, then you will be very effective with this system. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video and add some more power to your kick game. All right, so here we go guys. And so I'm gonna be taking you through the steps that you have to follow in order to execute the shot. Now here I have five balls set up on the table here at strategic position. I'm gonna try my very best to kick at all five of them. And what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to go at one rail, two rail, and we're trying to come behind the object ball, kicking at the ball from behind of two rails. Now I have this ball down here and I'm gonna to explain to you what the purpose of this ball is going to be so for the reference of the video. But for the most part here, the first thing that I want to do here is that I want to kick at the two ball at two rails. That is one, two, and come inside behind the two. So here is the process of the calculation. So the first thing you have to do is to find out where is the natural path of the cue ball going if it is that you kick off one rail and you aim to the back of the side pocket. Now the reference point of aiming here is the back of the side pocket. And so that's the point at which anywhere the cue ball is on the table, that's the first thing you want to do. If I were to play this cue ball to the back of the side pocket, where would it go? Okay, so it would actually go back into the corner because I'm kicking from the corner to the back of the side pocket, it's going to take me into the corner. If I'm kicking from the first diamond to the back of the side pocket, it's going to take me back to the first diamond. Kicking from the second diamond here to the back of the side pocket is going to take me to the second diamond. And of course, kicking in between increments is going to be the same procedure. This shot is played without spin. After finding the natural path of the cue ball, the next thing you want to do is to calculate the perpendicular distance of the object ball from which you're kicking at from the short rail. Now here, my two ball at which I'm kicking at here is two diamonds down from my short rail. Once I calculate that distance, I'm now going to cut that distance into a half. So two multiplied by a half or a half of two, that's going to give me one. So that's one diamond increment. Now I'm going to subtract that diamond increment away from the perpendicular distance. So the line leading from the short reel to the two ball here, that's right here. Okay, I'm going to subtract that diamond distance this direction. So okay. So this diamond now becomes my reference point or my entrance point, as we say, into the back of the two. So now that we have that entrance point there, the next thing that we're gonna be doing now is finding out how much diamond adjustments we're going to need to make on the first rail in order to catch that point right there. Okay, so I know that my natural part was taking me into the corner. I'm now one, two, three diamonds away from the natural path. 
So I'm going to be making three diamonds adjustment. One, two, three. So I can catch this point here. So now with all that calculation and all that information gathered from this system here, I know that aiming from the corner at the first diamond will catch me here and bring me into the two. Now in addition to the system here guys, and just, just take some time with me here just to get used to the whole idea of how the process goes. Once it is that you gather these five information here, the process of calculation will be quite quick and I will demonstrate with a few kick shots. This 10 ball here, I'm gonna place it right here. And why did I place that 10 ball there? This added information will let you know if you need to use running sides, no sides or reverse sides. If you're inside of this natural part, which is here, you're gonna be using reverse side spin. In this case, which is right spin. If you're on this path here, then you're going to be using natural cue ball. And if you're outside of this contact spot here, you're going to be, of course, using uh, running sides. Now, why did I pick this spot? If it is that my entrance point is at the first diamond here, if my cue ball was at this spot here, I would not have to use any spin. So because my cue ball is now on the inside of that natural path that the cue ball would have to be on for me to make contact on that short rail, that says to me that I'm gonna to have to be using reverse spin in this case, right spin. All right, so that was a mouthful of information there. Let's execute the shot now. So I am here, okay? Two diamonds down, one diamond across. That's the first diamond there. My natural part takes me to the corner. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna be using about two tips off reverse side spin. So I'm gonna be using, let's say, two tips up, one tip across, or two tips up, two tips across at the first diamond. Let's see if we can make contact with the two. Very good kick shot there on the two. Now, we haven't sold out, obviously. This is not a nine ball game, but at least you've made contact with the two. And that's how powerful this kick system is. Yes, I know it's a lot of process, but take some time, go on the table and execute the process and you will find out that this system is like magic. Let's play a few more kick shots like this one. All right guys, so here I've set up another one here and my target here is the three ball. I'm trying to go off one, two reels, going to the back of the three. Obviously, my focus is making contact. If I'm fortunate, I might resave my opponent depending on the layout of the table. This is not a table layout, obviously, but I just want to make contact if I am snookered on the three. So let's go through the process quite quickly. My natural path, aiming from the first diamond to the back of the side pocket will take me to the first diamond. That is step one. Step two, my three ball is two diamonds from the perpendicular distance of the short rail, so I know half of two is going to be one. That means my entrance point into the back of the three is going to be my second diamond. I subtracted that one from the perpendicular distance that takes me here to this diamond. Step three, it is to calculate how am I going to make the diamond adjustments from the, from the first diamond where my natural part takes me to this diamond. That's obviously going to be one diamond adjustment. So naturally, I would go to the first diamond. I need to go to that diamond. So that's one diamond adjustment, one diamond adjustment here. Again, my natural path for going to that middle diamond here, I would have to be here where the 10 ball is now. So if, I, if the cue ball was right here where the 10 is and I aim to the back of the side, I am going to go to the middle diamond. I'm still inside of that contact spot. So that says to me that I'm gonna to have to still use a bit of reverse side. Not as much as I used in the first example, but I'm still gonna to have to use some reverse side here. Let's go. First diamond here. Just a little bit of reverse side. And I did make contact with the three, very thin. Maybe I use a bit too much reverse side here on I made contact with the three. 
Let's do another quick example for you here. I'm going to say please the, I'm going to go for the five ball here. I'll place it here. And I'm going to go perhaps maybe let's go back to the first diamond here. Okay. Naturally, to the back of the side pocket, I should be able to go to my first diamond here. I need to make contact with the three, the five, pardon me, the five is three diamonds down from the perpendicular distance of the short rail. So a half of three is one and a half. So I need to make a one and a half adjustment. So that's one diamond and a half diamond here. So my entrance point in towards the back of the five is right at this point here. Now that I have that information, naturally, as I said, aiming to the back of the side will take me to the first diamond. One and a half diamond adjustment from that point tells me I need to go one and a half diamond here to enter into the five. Okay, tough kick shot. So what do we do now? Estimate whether we need some running sides or left sides. The natural path to get to this contact entrance point here is going to be right here in between this diamond. This diamond here to the back of the side takes me in between the second diamond and the first diamond. So I'm inside of that path there. Okay, so I know I'm going to have to use some reverse side. So I'm going to aim to the back of the side here. Make a one and a half diamond adjustment up the rail here. I'm inside. So I'm thinking maybe about a tip, tip to the right, tip across, tip up, tip to the right. I'm going to execute with confidence. And I make contact with that five, leaving my opponent no care how the table is. I leave my opponent tough. All right, guys, you've seen that the system works like magic. And it works everywhere on the table. It takes the guessing game out of the, out of kicking. It actually is just a very simple system once you get used to the whole steps, the process. It's not very difficult. And of course, just give it a try. Now, let's do one last example for you here. Uh, I'm gonna try to kick at the four. And I'm gonna leave the cue ball, let's say, here. So second diamond, back of the side pocket, that's where I'm gonna have it. Now, let's go through the process quite quickly here. Let's see how fast we can do it. Second diamond, back of the side pocket, takes me to the second diamond. Let's get this one ball out of the way. So second diamond, back of the side pocket, takes me to the second diamond. That's my natural path of my cue ball. The four ball is now one diamond down from the short rail. So that tells me that a half of one is a half. So I need to make a half diamond adjustment here. So my entrance point to the back of the four is about here. Now, naturally, of course, I know that I'm gonna go to the second diamond. I need to go half diamond this way. So if I have to go half diamond or a diamond or a diamond and a half in this direction, it means I'm gonna have to move that same amount of diamond adjustment down in this direction here because I want to go a bit longer. So half diamond here, that's about here. Now, if I aim to that spot here, I should make contact with the four, but I need to figure out, should I use spin or no spin or reverse side? The natural path of the cue ball that takes me to that entrance point there would have to be, let's see here, right here. I'm now outside of that spot. So I'm gonna have to use some running sides. Let's execute the shot here. So I'm gonna be using maybe about a quarter to a half tip. Hopefully I make contact. Well not hopefully, the system is accurate. And I make beautiful contact with the four four successful attempts in a row. The system works like magic. All right, guys. So let me know in the comment section below if it is that this system is something that you would like to use. Let me know if you need a part two, a better explanation with more tough, tough example. And let's see how it goes. Let's see if you can put up an example of a tough situation, maybe where you have to use the system to escape. All right, guys. So here is a situation 
in this case is an eight ball situation i am solids my opponent has played me a really good safety i have no option i do not like kicking off this side rail here into the one i might clip the 10 on the right side i do not like kicking either this direction here to make contact is too close to call so here is how the system is effective i can go one rail two rail and kick into the one but i just don't want to kick widely i want to have a reference point to which i'm going to be aiming at so here's where you can use the apb system for kicking two rails and it works like magic here we go natural cue ball part from the first diamond to the back of the side pocket takes me to the first diamond the ball I'm trying to make contact with is the one. I'm two diamonds down, so I have to go one diamond across. That now, first diamond, is my reference point to enter, or the entrance point to enter into the one. Okay, so once I've done that now, I need to make the diamond adjustment on the long rail here. Naturally, I'll be going to the first diamond. I need to go two diamonds across. Okay, so two diamonds across in this direction here takes me two diamonds up naturally to get to that spot here i would have to be right here i'm not there i'm on the inside so that says to me that i'm gonna to have to use reverse side i'm gonna call one ball in the side pocket here and hopefully i can shot my opponent this is an amazing kick shot here we go so two diamonds adjustment here a bit of reverse side i think maybe one tip right one tip left one tip right, one tip up. Hopefully, one in the side. Okay, so I didn't pocket the one, but I made contact with the one. My opponent will now have to run out. Congrats if he runs out and he wins, but at least I made contact and I did not give up a ball in hand. All right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And of course, do not forget to smash that subscribe button below. Turn on your post notification bell to be notified when another kick video from the APB Apex Predator Billiards Club has been posted. Do take care until next time. See you soon. Add more power to your game. Improve your consistency. Let's get to the pro level. Peace. Bye-bye.